multi-factor authentication. Bypass attack is often based on a simple CSRF technique where temporary authentication data stored in the user's browser is left unprotected. As a result, when a victim clicks a malicious link, the attacker's scenario is executed instantly without the victim even realizing it happened. Antivirus software and MFA are usually completely useless in such cases. In the video, I demonstrate how a CSRF attack can be carried out from user registration to full compromise, and how such an attack is blocked when CSRF tokens are properly implemented. Adding CSRF protection takes just a few hours for simple web apps and up to a week for complex systems. At strategigi.com, there are two versions of the login form and dashboard, one protected by CSRF tokens and one without any protection. At alksh.com, you'll also find two forms, one attempting to attack the protected dashboard on strategigi.com and another successfully attacking the unprotected one. The results speak for themselves. All an attacker needs is to know the structure of the site, its authentication flow, and the dashboard after login. Discovering all of this takes no more than five minutes using the browser console. It's publicly available data. After that, a simple script can be written to replicate the path to, for example, the password change page or a money transfer action often referred to as invites in hacker slang. The rest is just automation. Of course, it's worth noting that fintech platforms usually do implement CSRF tokens and moreover apply MFA to each individual operation. However, even with an additional MFA step to confirm financial actions, the absence of CSRF protection significantly increases the risk of fake or bypassed MFA triggers being executed successfully.